Hey folks, hope everybody's having a great Friday. It's been a long time since I've got done a Facebook Live, so I thought I would pop on for a few minutes before I begin my weekend. I'm too busy to take a second silent sit. Good. Take three instead. What do I mean by that? Well, if I, if I take a look at my life, with COVID, two years ago, I was sent home saying, you'll be working from home for two weeks, and then you'll return to the office. Well, here I am two years later, and I haven't returned to the office, and I'm in the type of job where it's not required. So I was actually recently told a few weeks ago, I'm never returning to the office. But what, what do I mean by this? by what I just said regarding, you know, I'm too busy to take a second silent sit. Good. Take three instead. Well, right now, work for me has, is very busy, very, very, very chaotic. And it seems like my need to do list uh, at work uh, keeps growing and growing and growing. So each day I, I need to take a look at this list and pick the three, five things that need to do. I call them my must do's and focus in and hone in on them and then let go of the things that don't require my attention that day. Well, what's, what's sustaining me during this period is my centering prayer practice. I need more sits. I need more interior silence so that when I'm in my day job during my non-centering prayer times, it's, it's getting me through this hectic, chaotic pace. So prior to this, I, I was doing two sits a day, once first thing in the morning and then a second one right before lunch. But over the last two weeks or so, I've added a third sit. I've shortened the time frames of the sit. So the first sit is my longest sit, and I need this sit. It begins me and starts my day. Uh, but my second sit is usually right before lunch, and then my third sit is about two hours later, around three o'clock or so in the afternoon. And what I'm finding is I need more interior silence. I need this interior silence to get me through what really right now is a very chaotic and very busy time at work. And what I'm finding is it's, 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 these sits are powerful and, and these sits are working and these are much needed. Because if you think about centering prayer, you're letting go during centering prayer of thoughts and emotions. And during centering prayer, any repressed thoughts and emotions are, are being released. And also during centering prayer, you know, our body holds a ton of tension. And the stress in our bodies, wherever you hold it, whether it's your forehead or your shoulders or, you, or your neck or, or your stomach, is being released. So it, it's during centering prayer, it, it, it's, it's true freedom. We're being released of tensions that we're holding in our body and we're releasing thoughts and emotions and repressed thoughts so we're letting go and then we're bringing naturally we're bringing this letting go posture with us out into our non-centering prayer times so what it's helping me do is let go of the things I don't need to focus on so that I can hone in and focus on the things that require my attention so I'm finding adding a third sit has made me more productive not less productive and I'm always amazed and, and thrilled and happy when I look back at the end of the day at you know five six o'clock seven o'clock at night and look back at what I got done um, because I took the time for three sits instead of two so that's what I'll do I'll, I'll challenge you folks take a look at your life if you're finding that your life is extremely chaotic very hectic consider adding a second if not a third sit to get you through through this time and then if life calms down for you, shift back to your two sits or if you're just doing one sit. So, so really, you know, listen to what your life tells you and add a second and or a third sit. And when things calm down, uh, back it down to your two or one sit th sit that you do. Or I always recommend at least two sits per day once to begin the day and then the second one as a as a reset button reconnect you to god reconnect you to life um, reconnect you to the, the present moment so i always highly encourage people to do two sits a day once first thing in the morning once perhaps uh, around lunch or so 
and that if you need to, because life is telling you you need this interior space, you need to calm down, you need to do a better job of letting go um, outside of your not, uh, centering prayer times, then I encourage you to add a third sit and do that um, as long as it's needed. So that's all. Just wanted to pop on and talk about adding a third, a third sit when is when it's much needed for you. That's all I want to say. So I hope everybody has a great, great weekend. Feel free to visit me over at silenceteaches.com. I have a free ebook on centering prayer there. When you subscribe to my website. You can find information on my book, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Centering Prayer, on my website. It's been out since August of 2020. It has um, thrilled with, the, with the, the reviews I'm getting. I have uh, 105 reviews at, at this point. I have about 124 people marked on Goodreads uh, reading it. And I've been getting out and talking a lot about it. I, I've been on close to 90 podcasts uh, since the book launched. Um, sharing the book and sharing Centering Prayer because it's been so enriching to me, life-changing and transforming that I simply want to share it with others in case it can, in help, in case it can help others as well. So that's it. Hope everybody has a great, great weekend. Much love to all of you.